about a tree that uh, purportedly fell down. And Christine Baumgartner feels he should be the one to go. Kevin Costner vows never to marry again. Did Christine Baumgartner really believe she would keep living in Kevin Costner's $145 million Santa Barbara house after filing for divorce? Yellowstone star Kevin Costner and his estranged wife, Christine Baumgartner, have been embroiled in an acrimonious separation for months. The split, which followed a seemingly drama-free 18-year marriage, has seen the duo clash over everything from child support to credit card expenses and household items. However, none of their battles so far have been nearly as acrimonious as their months-long back and forth over Baumgartner's reluctance to vacate Costner's $145 million Santa Barbara estate. Despite being bound by the terms of their prenup, which stipulated that she had to move out of Costner's home within 30 days in the event of a divorce, Baumgartner remained in the lavish estate months after initiating divorce proceedings. So, did Baumgartner truly believe she could still call Costner's lavish estate home, even after the papers were filed? Kevin Costner's 18-year marriage to Christine Baumgartner came to a screeching halt back in May. Since then, the two have been locked in a never-ending court battle, with their most acrimonious dispute revolving around Baumgartner's refusal to vacate Costner's sprawling $145 million Santa Barbara estate. In court documents obtained by Insider, Costner alleged that the collapse of his first marriage had left him without a place to live, a turn of events he was determined to avoid when he married Baumgartner. When Christine and I began discussing marriage in 2003, I made it clear to her that I would not marry again without clarity that my separate property residences would remain mine to live in no matter what happened in our marriage, he said per court documents. To ease his now estranged wife's transition, Costner reportedly offered to give her $1 million to aid in the purchase of a new home and volunteered to cover the mortgage, insurance, and taxes for an entire year. However, according to the Yellowstone Star, Baumgartner remained reluctant to vacate the property. Kevin has acted in good faith and has done everything in his power to make the transition as seamless as possible, the acclaimed actor's court filings read. But Christine refuses to vacate his separate property residence as she agreed she would do in 2004 as a condition of marriage. Despite reportedly being bound by the terms of their prenup to move out of Costner's home 30 days after filing for divorce, Christine Baumgartner was still residing in Costner's Santa Barbara home months after initiating divorce proceedings. Christine feels he should be the one to go, a source explained to U.S. Weekly in June 2023. She's so angry with Kevin for what she feels led to the end of their marriage, him putting work ahead of the family. The former model remained adamant even after Costner filed an RFO seeking to bar her from living in the lavish property. This RFO, request for order, seeks to kick Christine and their three children out of the house that the children have lived in for their entire lives, she said via her legal team according to Insider. Although the legal basis for Kevin's request to kick his wife and children out of their home is all but non-existent, this is still a matter of critical importance for Christine. In subsequent court filings, Baumgartner claimed that she had every intention of moving out of Costner's residence, provided he agreed to pay $248,000 annually in child support. Kevin's statement that I have refused to move out is simply not true, she wrote. Since the initiation of this divorce, I have repeatedly told Kevin, both directly and through counsel, that I would move out once a child support order or agreement was in place. And I have taken steps to demonstrate my commitment to doing so by investigating available housing options. The former model, who had previously admitted to not having a personal income, cited the welfare of her three kids as the reason behind her reluctance to vacate the premises. Kevin wants me to rent a place without a financial plan in place, she wrote however, I have our three children to think about. It is contrary to their best interests to commit to a rental that I may not be able to afford, particularly as that would ultimately lead to multiple relocations. After a month-long court battle, Judge Thomas Anderl ultimately ordered Baumgartner to move out of Costner's home by the end of July 2023. Despite her initial reluctance, Baumgartner promptly complied with the order. Christine is following the legal advice per the prenup and is vacating the family house, an insider source revealed to People on July 29th. According to People, the former model initially moved into a smaller house on the property that's been used as a staff quarter. 
This is a temporary solution, the insider added. She is still looking for another house. She is staying in the area to not disrupt the kids' lives. They will be back at school in the fall with their friends. Christine is trying to keep everything as normal as possible. Her sole focus is the kids. By mid-August, Baumgartner had vacated the staffer's house and moved into a luxurious four-bedroom, four-bath home located just 10 miles away from Costner's sprawling mansion. According to Daily Mail, the former model's new home features a host of luxurious amenities, including a barbecue area, a fire pit, and a swimming pool. Christine hopes there will be less drama now, an inside source revealed to People days after Baumgartner reportedly relocated. Kevin got what he wanted, she is out of the family house. Christine is relieved about it. She is happy to move on. It's war. Kevin Costner and Christine Baumgartner's nasty divorce could drag on for years. Kevin Costner and Christine Baumgartner have been in and out of court for months ever since their bombshell split. The former couple have been legally duking it out on everything from the terms of their prenuptial agreement to how the handbag designer would be able to keep up the kids' lavish lifestyle on her own. It's war. Out of spite, neither side is giving in, and friends worry the divorce could drag on for years, an insider spilled. Their lawyer fees alone will be astronomical. They're already heading into the millions of dollars. One of the most consistent issues has been child support. Baumgartner, who shares Caden, 16, Hayes, 14, and Grace, 13, with Costner, burst into tears in court while discussing their previous luxurious life filled with pricey parties and vacations. Prior to their recent court hearing, Baumgartner was receiving $129,000, but later asked for it to be bumped up to $175,000 per month so that she could provide the children a comparable lifestyle to the one they enjoyed before their split. She later amended the figure to $161,592 per month. Baumgartner also alleged that the Tin Cup actor was being evasive about the true state of his finances and asked for all statements, receipts, invoices, canceled checks, and other documents relating to any extramarital romantic relationships. However, the judge ruled in Costner's favor and cut the sum to a mere $63,000 per month. When you have a life that long with somebody, there is no winner, and it's this big, crazy thing called life and how it unravels so quickly, he told Fox News. One minute you feel like you're on top of the world, and then you realize how, you know, how vulnerable you are. In a separate interview, he also admitted to still having affection for his ex, despite their ongoing legal issues. This is a horrible place to be, but this is where we're at, he explained at the time. We're talking about somebody I love on the other side. I just can't. The source spoke with life and style about the possibility of the divorce dragging on for years.